Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Super excited for this video today. I am doing three outfits in three days. This video type was created by my friend Sarah, Shop SRJ. Hi babe. She had told me for ages to do these videos. Uh, I haven't got around to it, but I'm here now and we are going to show you my three outfits not necessarily consecutively but over three days of what I'm wearing so straight into today's outfit it is fourth day of hair so it is up in a top knot uh, just running errands I've got to go pick up some samples for a project that we're working on and just light contour um, all over true match uh, by L'Oreal is my favorite foundation to use just filled in my brows with brow drama from Maybelline it's the comb super easy on my lips I have been rocking this a ton in my last couple of videos it was given to me by Lisa the world according to Lisa my friend here on YouTube it's from Sephora and it's their liquid lipstick and it's in the Rosewood 02 and it's a beautiful kind of mauve uh, lip color which I love but it doesn't taste or smell very nice at all for accessories I'm wearing my link guess watch in gold I'm wearing my click H in black with gold hardware from Hermes I'm wearing my O necklace nameplate Jerusha and my L&M Mini Audrey in crystal and my wedding bands on this hand. I'm also going to get a feel done today. So I have no color on these nails. The white has come off and we're going to get a feel done. But that is what is going on with my makeup and accessories. Of course, true to form, we're in black. This is a black tee from Cotton On, just round neck. Underneath it in the winter, I always wear a singlet or a tank top. And this is just a black one from Bonds. I'm wearing my new Zara jeans which I love and I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton riveted belt in Damir Ibn canvas. On my feet which are proving to be awesome are my new motorcycle boots if you saw me haul these if you watched that video from Zoo, Zoo Shoes and they are so comfy because in winter my little secret is I always put lambskin uh, sheepskin liners down inside my boots so it's like wearing Ugg boots all day. Of course the fragrance I'm wearing today is Terry Mogler's Angel. This is my 100 ml bottle that I just got from mum and I've already used that much up because we love 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 it. Oh, it. Smells like heaven. To carry on with the motorcycle theme I will be wearing my black uh, leather jacket. This is a full leather jacket. It's I've had it for four or five years. I just got it in one of those mall shops the brand is S and G. It's just a mall shop here in Sydney, Australia. I do know that this shop is currently in Top Ride in Sydney. If you live around there and you like these sort of leather jackets, check them out because it's super comfy. Yes, a few people have asked me about this scarf. It is mine. It's Jerusha Couture. I sold them in my boutique. Uh, I'm not making any more of them. I had them in a, a whole array of colors and just regular leopard skin. I'm not making them anymore, so they're not available to buy, but soz. So that is my scarf that I will be wearing today because it is cold and windy because it's winter in Australia. And of course, the Pisto Resistance, the bag I'm carrying is my Louis Vuitton Montaigne MM in monogram canvas. This bag is like amazing. It is super easy access, uh, similar to the GST I was saying, like a city bag, run around, do all your errands, quite carefree, unless it's raining, I guess, with that much vaquetta, but let's step back and show you this whole outfit. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. This is what the look will look like today, just very bikerish with my leather jacket and my biker boots from Zoo. Super comfortable to run errands and my Montaigne bag. So yeah, I hope you like that and I will see you in my next outfit of the day, number two. Okay, hi guys, I'm back with outfit number two. I, before I show you this outfit, I just want to say two things. One, if you're planning on telling me that I'm fat or giving me thumbs down because I'm curvier, uh, please don't. 
Um, I just want to say I am not, you know, Cindy Crawford. I'm not a supermodel. I'm not thinking I am. I'm just showing you my outfits of the day. I am a normal girl. I put on weight. I lose weight. And so I am curvier. I'm taller. I'm 5'8", five, 5'7", five, and a half. So, and in boots, I'm like 5'9". So, I'm curvier. Shout out to all my curvilicious girls out there. And yes, unite. So I do know that. You don't have to keep telling me that. Second, I just want to say again, all I really wear is pants and a lot, a lot of black. If these aren't your outfits that you like to see and they're not sort of, you know, lots of different new trendy outfits, I'm sorry, don't watch my outfit of the days, but I have to be true to my style. And that's jeans, pants, black, simple shapes simple easy wear clothes and it's not because I'm bigger someone told me it's because I was fat that I wear black and jeans uh, it's not because of that I always have I'm more of a tomboy I wear you know easy going active clothes so they're my two things I want to say so today's outfit it's actually raining and it's actually a thunderstorm right now in Sydney it's a gloomy day so we have a little bit more on it's cold there's a big cold front my hair is just, um, was in a braid last night. I just slept in a plait, a long plait, and taken it out on the side. And that's it. That's all I do. Shake it out. Uh, my hair, my, my hair, my foundation is my True Match. It's a bit grubby. Sorry. This is my True Match bottle so you can see. And I wear the color Rose Beige. And, oh no, this one was Golden Beige. I was testing. I don't mind this color but I just love true match the way it just it's so flat I love matte flat foundation um, then I just have contour on I have my Napoleon blush pilot which has a highlight in it as well so it's giving my cheek a little bit of a ding <laughs> on my lips I have my essence lip pencil in the nude uh, number 11 and so that's what's on my lips Brows are a lot more filled in today. I actually did those with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the dark brown. This thing is great. It really draws them on perfectly. And then for my eyes, I have nothing on my eyes. No eyeliner, no tight line, no mascara except once I put the lashes on. And I just have my falsies on. These are my Vixens from Socialize from Carissa's Eye um, eyelash uh, line and they're amazing. I wear them every day I can't be bothered to do my eyes and I don't want them to smudge. I just put them on. That's it. I don't put and then I just put a little bit of mascara to blend my lashes and that's it. And it just it's so easy. It's actually easier than putting a full eye on and then having it smudge and feel really greasy. Anyway, that was my little tip. Uh, I have my gold kind of short chain necklace on. I inherited this from my mother-in-law. People ask me about my gold all the time. If I say it's gold from Dubai, I usually inherited it from my mother-in-law. So that's my thin little chain. On my wrist, I have my HRH uh, Lux Hardware in the soft supple white leather with gold hardware again my guess uh, link gold watch and then just yeah my wedding bands on this hand and that is accessories I did go and get a fill uh, yesterday on my nails but we haven't chosen a color sometimes I can't be bothered to sit there and get my um, color and wait to dry so I just leave with no color fresh nails with a UV top coat and then I paint them or sometimes I go back yes they are long I always start with long these are the casket shape um, I called them something wrong in another video but like the coffin shape I start with long and then I get them cut down so that is them I'm working with natural light today so the white t-shirt might throw out the light uh, because it's colder I'm doing a, a t-shirt over Spencer look I feel like this is really the breakfast club 90s I love that I love Spencer's coming out from tees this is my girl boss t-shirt from L&M my best friend Jen it's in the size large because obviously I've said that before underneath it I have my Kukai Spencer this is a wool Spencer and they're so great 
if you live in Australia or you can shop Kukai online, their Spencers come in all different colors and they're so great during winter because they're so warm. And of course, under that I have my Bonds uh, black singlet as well. So that's three layers because it's so cold. I am rocking my get, uh, Gucci uh, interlocking GG red and green striped belt today on my, uh, I call these my dirt bike pants <laughs> because I got these from Cotton On and they're like a skinny black jean, but they kind of got like that dirt bike um, so a uh, stitching in the, over the knee. So that they're the pants that I have on today. For shoes, I have my trusty Ruby Shoes uh, boots on today. This is them in the black with the gold hardware. And I also have them in the luggage uh, tan. You might have seen me haul them from Ruby Shoes. So to finish up this whole outfit, and I'll step back and give you a whole look. But I have to come up close and show you because I have not had so many inquiries over a piece of clothing before. I wore this in a uh, Instagram post and I had so many questions on the post. But I also had so many emails about this trench coat. This is my tan Zara trench coat. I showed it in a haul from Zara. It is so phenomenally well made. I cannot even stress how well this jacket is made. I also got it on sale which is an absolute bargain. It is huge and long and because it is raining it's going to be keeping us nice and safe from the rain let's say. With that I'm going to be wearing my Monogram shawl from Louis Vuitton in the Amarant colour, which is the purple colour. I will also wear it this way around so we're nice and warm. Get the hair out. And the perfume I have pulled out to wear is my Coco Mademoiselle Twist and Spray. Because I can also keep it down inside my bag. Very strong, but actually really nice for a rainy, wintry day. And because it is raining, can't believe it. I can't believe it and I can't believe I'm going to sh like I'm just like I go and grab it because it is raining my Chanel single flap jumbo with caviar leather gold hardware is what I'm going to be wearing as a bag I'm going to trade out my essentials into it from my Montaigne uh, because it's just far too wet so that is the bag I will be carrying today okay hopefully you can see that from there just stepping back this is the jacket that everybody's been asking about. I just tie the tie at the back so it doesn't fall off and that's enough. And yeah, somebody asked me if it was Burberry. Totally flattered, no. It's Zara, but it's so cool. I'm really glad I got my hands on it. So yeah, this will be the whole outfit today. And yep, into the wet weather we go. And I hope you're enjoying this video and I will see you in my outfit number three. Okay, hi guys. We are back for look number three. Uh, this is the last look. As you can see, it's a lot darker. It's a little bit more grungier. I've got a darker lip on, which I'll show you. Uh, so to start off, the hair is just completely out, free flowing. It's uh, day number three hair. I wore it in a braid again. I suffer from headaches, so at the moment, out is good it's better than up in a big top knot if you have heavy long hair you'll understand uh, again just true match is my foundation I have a stronger contour on today to balance with the lips and the brows but it's a short contour so I just blend it a lot forward rather than bring it right down it's just a little bit higher here again I have the Napoleon blush with a little bit of a highlight in it uh, it's a palette. So my brows is just Anastasia Browies, which I showed you in the last outfit. My eyes are natural. I don't have falsies on. I just have their real mascara. Uh, Kat, Von T, Kat Von D eyeliner from Urban Decay in the Trooper uh, pen. It's really good. I've tight lined with my L'Oreal Colorish uh, pencil. It will probably smudge, but for now, we're good. And actually on my lips is a different uh, lip pencil from Essence. This is the Lip Pencil Soft Berry 05. It's a lot darker. It's probably, 
Mm, yeah, just maybe a couple of shades darker, more berry color than the satin mauve, which I usually wear. So it's really more of a statement lip, but I like it. And if it rubs away, it stays. So it kind of stays. So that's all over my lips. Again, it's essence. People email me all the time about these, telling me they pick them up because they are so darn cheap. This was two bucks. The nails are painted. I have painted them myself last night. It's, of course, my Dare It Nude from Essence 162. So it's like, as I said, this chalky kind of mauve nude color. It's kind of hard to describe, but I absolutely love it. It's my go-to color when I'm not sure what to do. For accessories, I still have my gold on, so my thin gold chain uh, inherited from my mother-in-law and this is I get questions about this I wear this in videos but it's a pendant that I inherited from her on a gold chain and it's actually an amber pendant the stone in it is amber and I think it's just beautiful and it sets off the gold if you're wearing gold in your outfit on my wrist I have my mini Clio from L&M wrap bracelet there in gold I have my Click H in black and I have my really large oversized limited edition leopard skin guest watch. My guest watches are my pride and joy. I know they're not super fancy, I've copped a bit of hate on them, uh, but I love them. I started collecting them when I was like 17 so they mean a lot to me. So that's my zhuzh. The perfume I will be wearing is my Gucci Guilty. This is the original and I always get it in the 50ml. Is this 50ml? No, this is a 30ml size. I always get it in that smaller size so I can throw it in my bag. So on top I just have this Zara t-shirt. I think I did show it in a haul. It's just got the white Zara print on the front. Underneath of course because it is still raining and thunderstorming outside today in Sydney. I have my Bonds a singlet in black underneath. We are back to the riveted Demi Ibin Louis Vuitton belt. I think I may need to look into getting another one. Not this belt, but another Vuitton belt because I go through my belts like crazy. These are my other Zara jeans. Uh, these are the darker pair. The ones I wore in my first outfit are a lighter denim, but these ones have rips on them. And for shoes, today I'm wearing my new Zara boots. I got these a couple of days ago uh, when I got my jeans and they were on sale which was such a bargain but they're like, a, they're all synthetic but they're like a faux suede with this sort of leather detail and a silver buckle and, oh sorry, gunmetal buckle and yeah they're comfy, they're a little bit snug but hopefully you know, over where they will just stretch out, but they're cool. They're kind of, they've got good hardware and they're well made and they're on sale. So bargain. Okay. So just jacket wise, I am wearing my blazer. I have a few meetings this afternoon and this was just from Dubai. I bought it in Emirates Mall in Dubai and it's just a mall, mall brand, Stradivarius. <laughs> but I wear it a lot. You can get similar, obviously, in Zara. But when I have meetings to just look appropriate, we throw this on and it just makes everything a little bit more corporate. And for a shawl, because it is cold, we are going to wear my denim monogram shawl from Louis Vuitton in the color black. I'm going to wrap it around that way so it's a little bit shorter but snug under the chin. Shout out to one of my subbies and followers. Uh, her Instagram name is Mademoiselle. I think her name's Melissa. Hi, love. She uh, lives in Sydney and she took, she tagged me in a picture of her wearing this Boohoo jacket. I still have the tag on it and I've worn it twice. I don't know why I wear it with the tag on. It's really weird. But anyway, I, I can show you. So it's from Boohoo and it's the Kate, the Kate belted shawl coat in black. I can throw it over my shoulders to keep me warm and then we will have a coat with us as well. So that's really good. I just forgot. <laughs> I forgot my wedding band. I left them um, on my vanity. I was washing my hands, but that's my wedding set as well. <laughs> and because it is raining still, we're still in my jumbo. It's my, my rain safe bag, which is crazy, but we might be looking into another rain safe bag-ish. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think 
of the noir, so black, emprunt twin set bag. I'm really stalking it hard and I told Serena, so I might go and have a look at that because for a little crossbody bag to run around with, it's a cool option. Uh, but yes, so Jumbo will be coming with us today. So this will be the whole look. I will have the coat, you know, in the car with me. Obviously, I'm not going to run around with it on me all day unless I need it. And then we have my Jumbo. So, yep, hopefully you can see. So yes, that is my final outfit. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, shout out again to my girl Sarah. Thank you so much for telling me to do this, babe. I hope it went well. Give me a thumbs up, so a show of thumbs up if you enjoy these three outfits over three days. Let me know if you like them. Again, I'm true to my style. This is what I always wear, so yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this new kind of video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.